How we doing sports betters, Ghost Picks Team Justin here. I wanna start by saying, if you guys are not subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe, like, gives you all of our access here. We're coming up on a thousand subscribers. Uh, and we're definitely gonna do something special for all the guys who have subscribed, whether it be a premium card, a couple days of premium cards. Um, I haven't decided yet, but all you have to do is it takes two seconds, subscribe, like, um, and it really helps our, our channel grow. Uh, we have been putting out some dynamite free plays as of late. I think we're almost on a 30 and nine run. It is unreal. Um, for you guys that just come here and watch the video, get the free play and bounce, that's cool. Um, absolutely love getting those winners for you guys. Yesterday we had another winner for you. It was Auburn plus 21, taking on Alabama in the Iron Bowl. Obviously it was a great game. Uh, Auburn really had the chance to win that game, let alone just cover the spread. Um, a really good drive by Bryce Young coming down at the end there. However, I will say um, I'm not a, the biggest fan of the new uh, overtime where they just go for twos after, you know, it was, it was, it was interesting. It's the first time I've ever watched it. Wasn't my favorite way to cap off a, a great game like that. However, it is what it is, and it was an instant classic. Uh, we went 3-1-1 yesterday. Um, we are absolutely rolling. We're coming off a 15-unit day the day prior. Um, we had big units on the board again uh, yesterday. We're going to have them again today. Um, we were one push away from just absolutely dominating. Um, we were on Florida, uh, minus three take on FSU, ended up being a push. We ended up losing one play yesterday, and it was the Florida Panthers regulation taken on the Kraken. Um, I think the Kraken kind of surprised everyone there. However, our NCAA basketball and our top play of the day, Dallas Stars, uh, regulation taking on the Arizona Coyotes was a six unit winner. And then our NCAA basketball improved to 14 and one on the year. Our basketball is unreal right now. It is hot, it is fire. Our NHL hockey is on fire as well. We are on a crazy unit run in hockey. Uh, crazy NCAA basketball season so far. Like I said, 14 and one on the season. That is unreal. We are just making these huge plays. And I'm gonna say, the only play that we have lost in NCAA basketball is we took Fordham, taking on Clemson early, a one unit play that was plus 300 just because I really thought the upset was there. They ended up losing by six or so. Guys, our basketball is on real hot right now. However, today, everyone knows, Sunday, it's dub day, $20 gets you all plays for on my card. Um, it is a, a really good deal. It's a good way to cap off. Everyone who's just got the long holidays, they're just gonna sit at their house today. They're gonna watch some sports. I'm all about it. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm still recovering from the weekend for the, the week long of festivities. But we have a lot of sports out there today. We have hockey, we have basketball, we have NFL football, obviously. Everyone's ready to go. They got some huge games going on later on today. Um, and I'm looking at the Packers Rams game. I'm looking at the Vikings and Niners game. Um, looking at numbers and all of these. I am, cannot wait. In our hockey, I think there's six games on the slate today. I have two games that I absolutely love, and I want to get those out sooner than later um, as I'm watching a little bit of line movement just to make sure that everything is going to check out, and then we're going to go ahead and go forward with those plays. I easily see another 10 to 15 unit uh, card again um, and really looking to dial it in and get us set up for the next week that we're going to have. As I, I, I think I see a potential red alert out there next week. Um, I'm really liking it. I'm just waiting for a couple things to fall in place, make sure we have lineup set, and I'm ready to go. Um, today's free play is Sunday night football. We got the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Cleveland Browns. Who would have thought this would be one of the key matchups of the, um, honestly, of the year in the AFC, especially the AFC um, within their division. Looking at it, I really, really, really like Baltimore. I think they're coming together well as a team. Um, and with Lamar being, you know, he had his illness last week, he didn't play, they still won. Um, however, I'm going to have to go with the dog pound here. Um, I think that their ground and pound style really matches up well with the Ravens. I think this is going to be, it has the potential to be a low scoring game, but it also has the potential just to absolute skyrocket off and be another shootout like they had last year. So that's why I'm staying away from the over under, but I'm taking the Browns plus three and a half. Um, I really think that they're, this game's going to be another close one. It could come down to a Justin Tuck game winning field goal, but I think we're going to be able to get the points here and we're going to be able to keep this one close. Um, if you're feeling froggy, I would sprinkle the Browns money line because anything can happen in these division games. They're at a great price right now. I think it's plus 160. Um, very small units, big ROI. 
Um, really look into, look, in, look into that if you, as something that you're interested in. Um, but Team Justin's Sunday Fun Day, um, I would definitely hop on that package. Uh, all sports, all card, and then we can just roll from here. Uh, good luck, God bless, grind on, and let's go.